Hello and welcome to the garden. Well, I said I'd get another sowing in by the end of August and well, today is the 31st of August, so this is my last chance. And of course, this video will come out into September. Now, all the things I'm sowing, I think, are still good to sow. Some of them probably right through September and others, we're getting towards the last chance for those. So early September will be the last opportunity for a few of these things, I think. Of course, it all depends on the weather and it depends on whether you're sowing outdoors or under cover. I will be doing a further sowing a little bit later this month of some winter salads and a few other bits and pieces, but, but really not much from now on. Those winter salads will go in the cold frames after I've cleared the melons out. But today I'm sowing some winter radish and then a variety of oriental greens. And I think I might do just one last sowing of chicory. I do have quite a bit of chicory in the garden already, but maybe I'll hedge my bets and just sow a few more. This bed behind me had some red cabbage in it that's been cleared out now and I've just weeded it and I think the soil should be fine as it is. Now, I know these are the same family, but that's where the radish is going. I'm not too worried about that. I've got three varieties here. I've got Chinese rose, black Spanish round, and then I've got a muley. So I'm gonna do two rows of the muley. I think that's probably the more useful one for us and I'll do one row each of the other two. Now, these winter radish, they can get quite big, so I'm gonna give them a reasonable amount of space. So I'll try and sow them reasonably thinly. I do tend to have a slightly heavy hand with it, but then, if need be, I will thin them out as they come up. Now, I've still got some kale in here, and I've got some rather ragged-looking swede that are just starting to bulk up now, so, I've got to keep this net over this area, keep the cabbage whites and the pigeons out. Although the weather's turning, there are still plenty of cabbage whites around at the moment. So this looks a little bit rough at the moment, that's not a problem. Um, right, let me just drag out a little drill as usual. And where is it? I'll start with the black Spanish round. That should be plenty. Just cover that back over. I'll give this a good water afterwards. Although the weather looks a little bit moody, we haven't actually had much rain lately. So, well, that's a bit of a scruffy job, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And exactly the same again, this time for the Chinese rose. Got some fibrous old root in here, but I don't take all of that away. It's absolutely fine to leave that in the beds.
And finally, a couple of rows for the moolie. Right, and we'll get this net back down. Keep those pigeons and the butterflies away. Right, I'm back at our little greenhouse here and I'm gonna be sowing the rest of this stuff in some modules. Now, these are pretty big cells actually. There's, there's 28 of these in a tray. They're, they're quite a good size. So I might get away here without potting any of these on. That's, that's the plan anyway. Um, very often I, I start them in smaller cells and then I pot them up. It would be nice to avoid that chore this time round. So the two that I may not actually need uh, first of all, the Treviso Chicory. I've got a dozen of those set out in one of the cold frames. It doesn't really want to be in the cold frame. It's just that at the time I was planting those out, that space happened to be free. And then some more of the Napa cabbage. And I've already got some of these plants. I sowed those in a previous video and I've since potted them on. They're doing okay. This is probably one of the nicer looking ones. Some of them have been a little bit nibbled and are a little bit ragged, but I thought I'd sow some more anyway. Maybe by the time they're ready, they will go undercover either in the greenhouse or the polytunnel, not sure which yet. And then I've got a selection of the oriental greens and this is probably a fairly good time to be starting these. I could have sowed these maybe a few weeks ago, but I don't think there's any problem with sowing these, um, or at least here, right, right through September. So I've got Tatsoi. Now I did a really early sowing of this at the start of the year, and that did pretty well really, but of course as the temperature warms up, this stuff runs to seed pretty quickly. But now it's not gonna do that, so it, this should grow great at this time of year. I've got some Komatsuna, I've got Choi Sum, and finally I've got some Red Giant Mustard. So I think I will do maybe 14 of each of those. It's far more plants than I really need, but I always like to have a few spares. So I've got some of this peat-free compost and it's more of that fluffy stuff I'm afraid. I'm really not sure about this. I'm not fond of this this texture at all, but I'm gonna see how well it works on these seeds and, well, you never know, maybe it'll be fine. So I'll just fill this lightly as usual and then I'll press it down. I'm not even tempted to try to sieve this stuff. I don't think, I don't think anything much would go through the sieve. It's all fluff and fibre, bits of wood. Right, I'll just, oh dear, oh dear. That is just weird stuff. Right, there we go, that's not too bad. Let's, let's see what happens. So, um, We'll start with the chicory, two rows there, and then the Napa cabbage. So 
So I'm just going to tap out a couple of seeds in each cell. I will thin those to a single plant later on. And where's the where's the cabbage there it is? Similarly, two or three seeds in each cell would be fine. Right, I'll cover that up with more of this fluff. I'll sort of press that in a little bit because it's so fibrous when I brush over the top it will will disappear. Oh dear, oh dear, I don't know what that is. That's no good for anything. Be interesting to see how the germination goes and, and how they develop in this stuff, but I am not keen, I must say. And so many of them now are like this. This is really frustrating. This stuff looks like it ought to be stacked for another year or two before you could call it compost. That that will do. So exactly the same again. It's just rubbish. Right, in this one, I think I will start with the Red Giant and the Tatsoi. Exactly the same again, two or three seeds in each cell. I'd rather sow a few extra and have to thin them out than have empty cells. Again for the Tatsoi. Again, I'll just firm that down a little bit because this is so fluffy. So in this third and final tray, I'm going to set up the Comet Sooner and the Choice Sum.
as you can see I've got the Napa cabbage seedlings under this mesh and as soon as these start to come up I will have to cover them as well if there are still any cabbage whites around. I've had them coming in the greenhouse and, and in other places where I've got seedlings and laying their eggs on those so that is quite annoying but this mesh will keep them away with a bit of luck by the time these start to germinate maybe the butterflies will have given up for this season. So the mustards and the oriental greens I think they're pretty good to sow right the way through September and especially if you're then going to put them under cover and with a bit of luck when these plants are ready to go we will have cleared the greenhouses the tomatoes are going over already they've given us a huge crop but they're starting to look a bit ragged now we've had some blight on a few of them and we've removed those uh, I've still got pepper plants in the greenhouses and they've still got quite a lot of unripe fruit we've already taken the first flush of those uh, ripe red and yellow peppers now they need a few more weeks I think for the rest of them to color up but when they're removed there's going to be plenty of space for this stuff so hopefully the timing will work out okay and I won't have these plants hanging around for too long if I'm not quite ready to set them out then I may be forced to pot them on but it would be nice to avoid that this time well that's more or less my last sowing of the year I will come back in a week or two and set some winter lettuce but that's pretty much it now of course later on I will be setting out some garlic shallots and probably some onions to overwinter but we're pretty much done for this year's crops and uh, well we're done for this video too so thanks ever so much for watching and bye for now.